Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 113 of the Realm Recap. I am Jason from yakface.com, joined once again by FlyGuy from FlyGuy.net. Good evening, DA. Good evening, Interwebs. It's been a while again, but we're back. Yep. Finally. We talked, I guess, right before San Diego Comic Con. We kind of talked about what we thought we might see and some of the things we expected and whatnot. Um, some pretty decent reveals, some. You know, great six-inch stuff. You know, the display that they had there was just amazing. Um, you know, it prompted a lot of questions to Hasbro saying, when are you going to make this stuff for the <laughs> brand? You know, and they they seem to be open and interested in providing some sort of set-type diorama pieces. Yeah. Nothing, you know, obviously overly huge and complex, but I think um, I think they're intrigued by some of the response from from just their display, their booth display. So hopefully you get some more things like, you know, because there's the, you know, GTP toys that has produced those uh, space walls. That's mm -hmm. really kind of, there's, they seem to be the go-to site mm. um, for dioramas, even though it's only, you know, their the stuff they produce is relatively small. I mean, it's just Death Star walls, you know. Uh, sure. But, but still it's, uh, I, I mean, I think to be fair, Hasbro definitely, Steve Evans obviously listens to the fans and he's very vocal and communicative with everybody. But even the, um, the two sets that are coming out, the uh, Hoth and the, the Vader kind of set on the Tantive Four, I think that's a step in the direction they're trying to yep. they're trying to get there. I mean, I think it's, I think from their point, it's very hard for them to put on shelf a box of walls. Right. <laughs> it's just not got that kind of appeal for them. But I, I think with some action y features laid up something they're yeah. they'll be more comfortable. So I think we're getting there. Yeah, the yeah. those yeah, that centerpiece line is what the, that's called. Um yep. Yeah, it's more environmental, you know, it's just to help yeah. uh it's still a diorama. Yeah, it's still a diorama and it's it's not as boring as like you said, just some I mean the walls are cool. I'll give it that. They're expandable. You can you know, yeah, make a huge display if you want to, um, but these are, like you said, these have light up, you know, features and um, cool blast effects and whatnot. So I, th I think it's kind of the direction they'll they'll be going, and I'm cool with that. That's I think yeah, that's I what this line needs. You know, we don't need you know two hundred dollar vehicles to really accentuate the line because you you can't. It's hard to display that stuff. You need kind of small like I said, environmental stuff to help accentuate the existing line of products that they already come up with. Exactly. Well, I think as well, the whole fan community that's out there, uh, particularly with six inch, there's so many, I'm looking 3.75 inch too. There's so many people buying little tables and chairs and drums and battles and, you know, Death Star looking kind of paraphernalia in the background just to make up this stuff. We've mm -hmm. talked about many in all the shows. Um, Han Solo chairs for Greedo and him to sit there and all that kind of stuff. So the fans want it, but yeah, they just got to find the right niche to get out there, I guess. Yeah. So we'll talk about um, a little bit of the stuff that was shown that, you know, we'll go through their little panel that they had when they're, um, they mm. showed a few new things. Um, they talked a lot about, um, you know, some of the six inch stuff, a few 3.75 inch reveals. They did touch a little bit on the, the vintage collection coming back for 2018, not mm. much at all. I don't think anything for the force awakens except for, or excuse me, uh, the last Jedi, except for one or yep. two things maybe, but, uh, but a decent presentation overall. Lots of cool it reveals. It was, um, that Jubak was just epic with a articulated tongue. Cool. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, and you and I were just talking about this, uh, beforehand, but the facial, technology that they're now applying and uh again just to repeat what i just said to you but if anyone's out there just to see it in the flesh the the netflix uh, marvel legends daredevil punisher electra jessica jones that kind of stuff they've used that on those figures and it's uh, it, it is outstanding in my opinion it's really really good so cannot wait to see this in star wars it'll make a big big difference to the line yeah because the sculpts Six have always been very solid. It's been yeah, the yeah, application yeah. of the paint on, at times that has really That's it. made or break That's it. a figure. So this is I'm looking forward to seeing how this is received and how it's how it's applied to the Star Wars brand. I think it'll it'll really kind of uh, hit home with a lot of people. Uh, as you said, the sculpts are there. The, the physical part of the bodies are generally uh, fine. There's no issues. But 
It's capturing that face on a very small scale on something that's sometimes less than half an inch. It's pretty tough. Mm -hmm. Credit to them, sexy Rexy, they showed. Leah, 3.75 inch Leah, Hoff. Um, Mass Canada, six inch, the little chest. Uh, Jim Leah in six inch too, looking good. Yep. Get some caddy love and some of the 3.75 inch, which we'll actually show, which have leaked. Yeah. Um, a little early. And some more 3.75. That Emperor looks awfully familiar. It looks like the old, terrible, yeah, god awful from... saga. Yeah. Was it saga? Yeah. Looks nasty. So we'll swap out hands and all five POE ish kind of stuff, reasonably priced stuff in a Wrath Tower. And then, as you said, vintage, which starts right where we left. Yep. 115 was the last one. So. And uh, that was the Dr. Afra, the fan's choice. And there's more of the 3.75 inch. Get some repack. Um, a lot of carry forward. There's a lot of repacks, isn't there? I think with the Force Awakens, I think we're obviously going to get a lot of the stuff that came out in the Black Series 3.75 carded, which is fine. Yep. Now everyone um, found those at retail. And yeah, people that yeah. want want those figures. I, I think <clears throat> people that wanted those figures but wanted them on the on the vintage line look, I th mm -hmm. that will just make them want them even more. I think I agree. the presentation is far better than those small little red and black boxes for these figures. Absolutely. So uh, yeah, that Hoth Rebel Soldier, one of the variants that we got, um, will come back out, which is good. He was a great figure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and some more there. Uh, again, 3.75 black, they're all really kind of repacks, I think, apart from the hover tank pilot, which will be newish. Mm -hmm. in articulated form. So this it felt like quite a lot of repacks, but that's not such a bad thing. And again, no one's putting a gun at your head to buy it. Yeah. And the hover tank, although it's got a new name apparently, it's not a hover tank. Right. Um, did you see that? I can't remember. I think somebody told me it changed its name. Yeah, um, it's, it's like the assault tank, something like that. Combat assault. Yeah, Forces of Destiny. Some new ones as well, looking good. A little Padme there. Quite like that. More the Rogue One, and that was it. That was pretty much the panel, but they had more at the booth. Um, uh, we don't have it here, but uh, I'm sure you saw it as well. The um, and they teased us with things that the whole diorama there showing things like the Luke Skywalker was slicked back here, mm -hmm. which they said was a custom, just the one off for the show. But I, I really don't think so. I don't think it's, yeah, uh, I don't think so either because I reported <laughs> this. I'd have to find out how long ago it was a couple years ago. Um, yes, I remember that, yeah. Hasbro had shown a mock up of a potential trash compactor scene two pack that did have um, a Luke and a Han in their Stormtrooper outfit and it was sold together. And mm. as my friend told me, he was part of this. Um, merchandiser group that was you know they were trying to sell it to a particular uh, retailer and i i'm not sure if that was ever picked up and this figure that was in this display might be that figure that they were using to pitch that item so there was a lot of cool little things you know kind of spread throughout that were custom one-off like i mean they built a whole you know, one twelfth scale Millennium Falcon cockpit for yes. <laughs> that's, I'm, just, I'm like, what the heck is this? Like, it was impressive. You know, they went through a whole thing on how they created it. You know, a lot of 3D printing, you know, mm -hmm. one off customization. Yep, it's impressive on on how detailed that that whole display was. I think that's the thing as well to remember is for everyone who's watching. Uh, Hasbro's a year, if not a year and a half, ahead of us in terms mm -hmm. of what they're doing. Um, everything we get coming out that's new is is a year and a half old to them. Right. Uh, almost. Plus, they get tons of stuff in their parking lot and ideas. So, uh, like, it would be a great on, set. Yeah, they're working on Han Solo stuff right now. Exactly. Exactly. So, there's a whole bunch of stuff that could come. But that, I mean, the, the Death Star compactor is just a what an obvious one for them to do. Just all repacks, essentially. A little bit mm -hmm. of paint, swap that head here and there. Include some cardboard background or a bit of plastic as the, the pole or a bit of the trash, Dianoga. Yeah. Boom. Show me, just, cool. just take my money. Yeah. <laughs> some sort of Comic Con exclusive in the future. Yeah. yeah. So um, let's see. What else do we have to talk about? I think we're talking about the Hascon Sexy Rexy, I think. 
Yep. This was, you know, they showed off the, you know, we got our first look at uh, the six inch Captain Rex <clears throat> and it was confirmed, you know, during the show that it was also going to be available at first available at uh, Hasbro or Hascon, whatever they're calling it. This is their convention, their first uh, annual convention that they're having in September. And they're having an exclusive version that will have special packaging, which none of us have seen yet, but it's a, it, it's a gorgeous figure and I can't wait to get it. It's not going to be available until the fall, I think, or maybe even 2018. 2018, I think spring. Yeah, that's right. So this will be their, your first opportunity to get it. And it's got, like it says here, you know, four blasters, premium packaging, removable helmet. So so that, as you know, talking, and you're right, it, it definitely does say they're uh, exclusive packaging and accessories. Now, we don't know if they're weapons, but I guess it would be. Yeah. Um, so pretty cheap if they miss out a couple of guns just for, two, you know, yeah. $5 worth of money. That would be pretty measurable. But, uh, you know, there you go. So they're easy well, enough we, to get, I guess. If you compare, let's say, like the... Um, the Jin Urso and the uh, First Order Stormtrooper exclusives that they had at San Diego, I think those were still 20 bucks each, even though they were the exact same figures that were released at retail for Force Friday and, you know, Rogue Friday, whatever you want to call it. They were, they were still $20 figures. I'm not sure. I, if, or something. I don't remember. Maybe, maybe you're right. I don't know. I think because of the postcards inside it, there was a little the booklet with the clone. I think they charged a little extra. Mm, that could be not much. Twenty five, twenty nine, something like that. It mm. was um, maybe a little yeah. more. So but, we'll still uh, have to see how. You know, yeah, I don't. I don't expect them to charge. You know, like they're doing with the Gree, they're charging a bit more because of the extra paint that's going into that figure. I don't think they're going to do that because of this new paint technology that they're going to use to get a better likeness so it'll be it should be 20 bucks when it hits retail sure uh, later on so yep he's gonna be popular yes been looking forward to him he's been rumored for a long time so i know i know well he told us about him like a year and a half ago or something Julian yeah Navaji did at one of the events so anywho oh uh, what else um walmart uh this was i think this maybe i'm wrong yep this is right notes. the comic shop uh, yep. yeah. starting to offer or take pre-orders whatever you want to call it for former uh walmart exclusive waves of figure these are earlier assortments of them not it doesn't have anything as far as uh, uh you know like the panda baba boba fett storm mm -hmm. sand trooper and who else was in there uh, tuscan raider that wave yeah. is not being solicited. No. But it's, it seems like the previous two waves are. Yeah. Akbar, Ahsoka, Emperor Guard, General Karasin, Seal Leader, which is a bit of a That's hint at future figures. I know. Uh, yeah. Emperor Guard, General Karasin, uh, sorry, and Shark Trooper. Which is the, so, uh, um, the Death Trooper, right? It's funny how they use those names still. Still in there, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, box packaging, yeah. So, so those will be available to order through your comic shop. You'll have to probably tell them that you want them. They're not just going to stock them. Yep. So interesting That's, that uh, they, you know, it's been rumored for a while that that Walmart was going to lose the exclusive license. And that kind of came to be through the announcement of the return of the vintage collection that, you know, the mm -hmm. black series three, three quarter inch would essentially go away and come back as the as the vintage collection so and they said that the vintage collection was going to be available everywhere so walmart wouldn't retain that exclusivity mm. it's funny i've seen, I've seen a lot of these 3.75 black just on clearance and really cheap and not shifting so mm. kind of weird where they come into comic shops but uh, maybe there's a lot of them left we'll see right um let's see um Leaks. Leaks. Been a big two weeks for leaks. Um, starting last weekend, um, most, well, I guess the first two waves of the 3.75 inch Last Jedi figures leaked um, at some retailer in Panama. Uh, the, the images spread all over social media and various sites. Uh, you know, 
it's you know kind of what we expected as far as characters but there's some new ones in there mm -hmm. most of them have been rumored coming out you know through various lists that have been shared on our site and um, we had talked about before i think so pretty cool uh also there was a, a vehicle i think uh pose speeder was leaked out there um today uh, we got to see <clears throat> the a-wing along with this new speeder the canto bite uh speeder this is like the casino planet from um the last jedi this is like their cop i'm, I'm christening it the staple speeder it <laughs> yeah, looks like two staples basically so uh terrible looking thing in my mind but never mind uh yeah, very late package. That must be the A-Wing, as you mentioned. Yeah, very With cool. Hmm. And all oh, this stuff link. is uh, Force Link compatible for people that don't know what that is or haven't read up on it. Um, basically, it has uh, a chip inside the figure and vehicle that gets read by this little bracelet deal that you wear. And the vehicle will output sound. Well, the bracelet is what emits the sounds that it reads the chip that's inside whatever thing you're holding, whether it's an action figure or a vehicle. And it's, it's pretty cool. It, it sounds cool. I haven't heard it yet. So we'll have to see if the technology's improved over the Comtech technology back from the, er, the late nineties, mm. but uh, very cool. Yeah. Can I com chip revamped, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, not the one. That's one of these annoying Instagram ones where you go through Rathtar. Yep. With finally that guy, I don't think he ever came out in the main lane at all. The nope. uh, Balotech. So get the raft hard. This also hit retail today, along with the uh, uh, probe droid with Darth Vader, which leaked out. Well, it didn't leak out, but it was shown on display at uh, at San Diego Comic Con as well. So That's all right. new Vader yeah. and new uh, probe droid. Yes, cool. looks pretty good. Yeah, it's not too bad. So yes, lots of leaks, lots of lots of availability. Actually, really true. Yeah, um, I think these stores that uh, here in the U.S. that had leaked them up, these had shown up like at a Kmart in Arizona. I think they were denied sale at the register. They mm. just, you know, as happens when things are hard street dated, you know, you can't sell it before September first. Um, so, but we get to see the pictures. We get to see, you know, they keep everything so under wraps, you know which is necessitated, which I've done the past couple of, you know, product launches is develop the checklists. Mm -hmm. um, so people know what to, what they're in the, what they have to budget for as far as uh, product for force Friday. So I am diligently working on that. Now I've been updating it every single day for uh, like a couple weeks now. And it's, it's about four pages long considering Good God. <laughs> it's got, it's got Hasbro, uh, I, I list them right there. It's got Hasbro, Lego, Funko, Disney Store, which I'm not sure is going to really have anything anymore. Um, Hot Wheels, Jack Pacific, um, lots of stuff coming out. Yeah. So get your wallets in good shape, peeps. Yep. And the the product list that I'm doing, um, which I haven't done in the past, is each item or each assortment will have pricing on the checklist, so you could tally as far as how much you need to spend um, or want to spend or have to spend. Um, so. Or calculate how much you have to buy, spend on your partner to make up for that. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's like, if I have to spend, <laughs> you know, $500. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, that the first version of that list, let's see what's today's date. Today is the fifth, I would say late next week end of the week, I'll release probably the first version of the checklist. And I'll, like I, like I posted in that article, I'll keep updating it until right until force Friday, which is, you know, the midnight of the 31st, September 1st. Um, so people will be able to print that off, download it, you know, via PDF and uh, use it as a checklist when you go in store. So. Yep. Fun times. Indeed. Um, what else was you did there? a good job the last couple of years. It really, uh, there was stuff on those lists I'd never even, I didn't even know about. Yeah. Not that I collected it, but I didn't even know what was coming out. So you did a very thorough job of doing it. So well Thank done. You. 
Yep, there'll be Black Series stuff on there, uh, vehicles, play sets, just everything. Not everything. There'll be a, I'm not. I'm not including <laughs> books or you know nah. re- reading material. This is this is just like the plastic toy aspect of the collecting. Yep. So there's a lot of books, though. I mean, that would be a whole other thing. Um, but so uh, comics as well. Yeah. Um, what else was there? Do you want to talk about the Luke Land Speeder that we know? I think we covered it, but yeah, um, I think this was posted, you know, a couple I think it was last week, two weeks ago. Um, there was some confusion as far as the difference between the San Diego Comic Con version of the Land Speeder versus the retail version, which comes out September first. Um, both exclusive and retail versions have the same accessories. We're showing this on the screen right now, but if you're listening, um, you're not seeing. Uh, the retail version has a different material the, the, as far as Luke's outfit goes. It's made of a mm-hmm. different material. The CD, CC version has a better version, I guess. That's right. Um, exclusive version has a different packaging. It has like a window box display. Uh, the retail version has like the traditional black series, black and red box. Um, the exclusive version has more deco on the speeder. It's more weathered. Um, I think that's about it as far as weathering goes. And uh, But the main deal is that the uh, this land speeder itself has a moving engine turbine under the hood. Mm. Uh, the, the regular version, the hood still opens. It just doesn't have this moving feature that's under there. So if you're, if you really need that, I guess, I think I think the main concern people were wondering or they were concerned that they weren't going to get all the accessories, but those are yeah. those are both common between the two, so you don't have to worry about that. It's just the fact that one is you know, the exclusive version is dirtier. Exactly. So. It's minimal changes, but it's still a thing for the pedantic amongst us, which that many. Right. Um, it's. Uh... The Luke has a different head sculpt versus the one that's been out in the in the Black that's Series right. box and the carded uh, 40th anniversary collection. It has a different head than both of those. I'm not sure. It, it looks better. The sculpt is better. The paint, I don't think, is better. Yeah. He's got the dark lip gloss on, which yes. is not yes. very flattering. Yeah, I was talking about this on a show. We were talking about the the fact that Luke just never seems to get yeah. just just right. It's always Leah like this year. Yeah, well, Leah this year, I think the fortieth anniversary, the repacked, you know, refixed one. I think I think that's as good as that's a great job. Yep. The previous one, not oh, great, and the looks. So mm-hmm. uh, fingers crossed, we get some good Skywalkers going forward. Yep. Um, let's see. Moving yep. on to some of the. Other brands here. Uh, General Giant had put up a. Uh, they had this previewed at San Diego Comic Con, but this is the uh, 40th anniversary slash early bird jumbo Kenner set. It's kind of a reimagining of the early bird four pack that came out back in uh, the 70s. Includes That's a right. giant jumbo version of Luke with the telescoping lightsaber, uh, Princess Leia, Chewbacca. All their weapons and R two D two has a cool box, has a flippable lid and the white inner tray, just kind of like the original did. But this thing must be huge. It must be massive, exactly. <laughs> it looks <laughs> great. I mean, you're buying the cardboard because you've had these figures already. If you're buying the jumbo line, but uh, it's also got a jumbo price. It's actually not got a jumbo price. That's not bad. It's pretty reasonable for four figures. God, that Leah looks terrible. <laughs> And is it come pre-yellowed like that, or is it just the weird photography? <laughs> the weird photography on there, really pooty brown pants. Um, that's not, I mean, considering each one used to be 80 bucks average-ish. Yeah. Well, it's not that far off, I guess. Um, you lose the nice clamshell, I guess, that you get this box. Yeah. Hey-ho, you know, not bad. It's good, they're very authentic with the, um, the little tear-off slip and sticker and all that's that stuff Beach club card yeah, yeah yeah that's very uh uh that's that's it that's exactly who it came hmm yeah that i mean 279 that seems pretty reasonable i mean the shipping on it is ridiculous yeah that's like true 40 dollars or something like that but 
<laughs> Welcome to Luminate Save the US. <laughs> and I think Nothing. if you're a, a Premier Guild member, they knock maybe 20 bucks off, if I'm remembering correctly. I'd have to log into my account again to see. But if if you do, if you are a member, you get a little bit of a discount, or at least you did. So. It's still available to pre-order. Yep. Cool. Um, let's see. Some Jack Pacific items started leaking early. Uh, these were posted. Uh, Jedi Temple Archives had posted an article about about these uh, hitting early at uh, I think it was a Toys R Us. This was the uh, yeah. Uh, what is it? The Elite Guard, Praetorian, Praetorian Guard, Kylo Ren, uh, Stormtrooper the first order stormtrooper and there's uh, the ray has also been found at retail also the kylo yeah. ren blade builders lightsaber pretty much the same thing as was offered before just a pretty new box the flame effects i've never seen that before oh yeah that is maybe that is different huh yeah that is yeah we never saw that kind of uh crackling lake effect yeah huh I like those blade builders. I had great fun with it. Yeah, <laughs> I suppose then you and I some last year. I think we were playing with them. It was just they were great. They were really good. Yeah, my kids um, love whacking each other with them. <laughs> A guilty pleasure. Yeah. <clears throat> and speaking of those Jack specific figures, I know Corey from uh, First Order Transmissions. He's posted on um, the First Order YouTube channel um, mm. a review of that uh, Elite. That's guard, right. Yes, you saw that. As well as Ray. He just posted Ray. So you can check that out over there if you're interested at all in those things. Yep, yep, yep. Um, There's a couple other leaks. Amazon, I think this was Amazon Germany. Some, I don't think it was uh, our US based Germany or US based Amazon. Um, yeah, Amazon Germany leaked uh, the figures prior to them hitting retail. Uh, the Poe Dameron, which you could see. I'm not, that link is probably dead now. Yep. Yeah, it's gone. Um, yeah, it's gone. And we've seen the Elite Guard just now and the other link that hit retail. So yep. th that was our first real decent merchandise look at, at that figure, at both of them. Yeah, that's funny to say you, that you just said there. The Poe has been disabled, but the Elite Praetorian Guard is still up there. You go, there's a better picture. Um, that's a nice sculpt to pull down. Not bad. Looks kind of uh, Superman-ish. No, <laughs> yes, it does. It does indeed. And very mm -hmm. Han Solo. I mean that very, shirt. Yeah. See, I mean it's it's clear. Pants too with a kind of a seam down there. I think if that's yeah. maybe what it, that is. Yeah. yeah. And there's the Praetorian guard. That still looks weird. That mask. That means... Yeah. The, it's the, like those stacking cups on each you know, <laughs> The fandom is clearly divided on the look of the elite guards. Their mm -hmm. helmets are ridiculous as well as their armor. Yeah, it's a little bit like a greater and stacking cups. It's like he's ready for a party. He's a red yeah. party cup, basically. I, yeah. I think I've got a stack of solo cups in my garage. I think I'm going to try to kit build myself a set of armor <laughs> tonight. It, it should only take about 20 minutes considering the complexity of that thing. You know now you're going to see people at cones all around just with like red cups all oh, the yeah. way just to yeah. a red bucket in their head. <laughs> Done! Yeah. Anyway. Uh, let's see. What else? Let me close this one. <clears throat> um, there was oh, the uh, convention exclusive uh, prototype Boba Fett uh, movie realization figure essentially it's a repaint of the of the first release but uh if you're looking for at least a retailer here in the u.s that's going to be offering it uh, big bad toy store did or does have it up for um uh, for pre-order which i like did you jump oh, on yeah. it i thought you did i thought you did i think they still yeah they still have it yeah pre-order one they still 134 it. It's exclusive. I would have jumped on it. it. The fact it's a complete Boba repaint and the fact that Django's coming too, I thought I'm gonna have to save my pennies. But yeah, it is beautiful. It is very, very swish. Yeah. Kind of looks good. I know. I know, I know, I know. I'm still waiting for Did the jam. <laughs> um there's supposed to be that mug that's coming out from Funko, which is supposed to Oh yeah, yeah. The proto yeah, that's right. 
That's supposed right. to get sometime here in August. I every time I go to Target, which is every day, um, I head over to the Funko section and get stared in the face oh. by the same BB-8 or Darth Vader and Chewbacca ones. It's not one you'd want to order online, probably being ceramic. It's probably yeah. Maybe, uh, yeah. I'll wait till probably. I see it at retail. I meant to say to you the other day, in fact, you do have it in the background. I'd seen someone paint the, um, he painted and packaged the white prototype Disney Infinity figure. Oh, yeah. And I thought you immediately, we were sharing it with something, and I, I, uh, I thought, oh my God, Jason's going to have to see that. It was like a whole army of them, but you, you have to remember you'd already done it before. So, yeah. Anyhow. Very cool. What else we got? A um, uh, couple Funko things here. Uh, not on this list. A lot of stores are starting to receive their Last Jedi merchandise. Um, I didn't know of a store. I won't name it because I know the person that works there and I don't want to get them in trouble. Um, they have all of their all of the Funko uh, Last Jedi figures in their back room, stock room. And I've seen what the character list as far as the... I think there's like 20 that are coming out in on the first day uh not too dissimilar from the hasbro leaked figures as far as characters so if you kind of put two and two together you can kind of figure out who's going to be available um on force friday but yep pretty not too surprising as far as character selection but some decent ones in there and i don't know any of the exclusives yet but i'm sure there'll be some some pretty neat ones in there cool cool um, but going off of what we had here, uh, Funko a couple weeks ago, they revealed they're having another one of those uh, deluxe figures that has the uh, TIE Fighter. This was uh, shown just a couple days ago or weeks ago. Oh. Uh, TIE Fighter with TIE Fighter Pilot. Mm. And a little, bit, a little bit of a Death Star. Yep. This is essentially the same as the Vader one that came out exclusively to Target here in the US. Uh, obviously right. the TIE Fighter is different and the Pop is different. I'm passing on these altogether. I don't like them at all. Yeah. A little too big for me as well. I prefer the single pop packages, but... Uh... Yeah, it's the price is what kills me. Like they're not worth the 27 or $30 basically when you could get like some of the larger ones, you know, like the, the Ray speeder or the, uh, the land speeder with Luke that came exclusive in the smugglers bounties box was a far better value. The, the speeder is a far better scale than the, yeah the tiny tie fighter. I just don't like the, the look at all. So, yeah. so I guess I'm not completing the, <laughs> you're not a completist. No, nope. a completist. They broke me. Exactly. I needed it to be honest. Um, this is one you shared uh, last week on uh, Twitter. I saw the or mm. your site, the San Francisco Giants Giants yeah. exclusive BB-8 with this, baseball, this is, baseball bat. Can it be very quiet for a lot of people? I thought people would be going nuts for this thing, and people were like, eh. yeah. I don't know whether the BB-8 did out. I think they maybe had enough. Um, Ball and bat, orange base. Looks pretty good. It's numbered. But, uh, I mean, it's... It's numbered. Yeah, it's going to be limited. I, I'm curious to know how many of these produ they produce for this game. Yeah. Because, you know, you know, do, do half of them end up in the garbage as, you know, people, you know, the first, you know, 10,000 people through, uh, I'm not sure how many people, uh, the stadium seats where they play. But sure. let's say they made 10,000 of them. Did all 10,000 make it home or do they get left on their seats? You know, it's like, I, I, yeah, I would imagine they'll have a bunch of these available on. They'll have an online store. I'm sure they'll have some membership store and yeah, some way to monetize that and sell it after other events and uh, exclusives and some other way of getting out there. But uh, yes, I mean, it's not, eh, it's, it's very fan. unique as far as, you know, I've not seen this level of exclusivity before for a, for a fun pop, you know, at least well, at a sports one. 
not a sports one. I mean, you, you've obviously got things like Conan and all that kind of other right, stuff. Right. Where they, you know, great phone call fundies. They make pop just for that sometimes. Um, but yeah, you're right, not for a, an event. I've never seen that before. Um, I guess they did it for San Francisco because of what its proximity to Lucasfilm. Would that be? Oh, I have no idea. I don't know what caused that. I guess. I guess the colors, obviously, San Francisco Giants orange and white is a big factor in there. Mm-hmm. Um, gear they wear, but right. it'll sell, and it's probably on eBay for silly money. So uh, you haven't even checked. I did check, and it, it wasn't up at the time, but I'm sure it will be as soon as they make it available. So. Hmm. Um, let's see what else do we have we have a couple bits of comic news here uh last week there was a reveal of a couple new uh john tyler christopher vintage cover variants that's right mace windu in his rich about battle gear i can't even pronounce that but uh he's got his cool this party's over face and uh yeah, I guess that's obviously in the strip. Yeah, I've not followed that comic at all, so I'm not sure anything about yes. this. Nope. Hmm. What, uh, looking badass. I think there's been a lot of chatter about him coming back and people want to see him back. And of course, he commented on a couple of chat shows about it. And, mm-hmm. um, so, uh, yeah, it would be definitely interesting. Great character, really underused, I think, in the, in the trilogy. Yep. And there was another... Um, comic revealed today i think this was the uh Ugna cover version variant that's right yeah so um one Ugna anyway i'm sure we make another one in the future yeah. but straight off the empire kind of cards that lovely picture joan's done a lovely job again uh, doesn't have his little white um thing i noticed his little white oh, you yeah. know attache case thing he normally puts accessories in the in the side of it but i didn't see it so I forgot. Sometimes that's, he does. maybe that's the variant Maybe that's the variant. Yes. Oh, don't It'll change his smock to blue or purple, whatever it is. <laughs> no, can't you know, any more that was them. purple there. I've got more of these than half some figures. But yes, oh, yeah. cool. Oh, cool, cool, cool. You don't get a lot of Ugnat merchandise these days. You do not. You do not. And uh, yeah, the Vintage Collection had some great ones. Yep. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, just a quick little bit of movie news. Uh, if you've been following uh, Ron Howard on Twitter, he's been uh, he's been tweeting a lot. He's been really, I think, trying to oh. smooth things over with the uh, director yes. change as far as for the Han Solo movie. Um, he's been posting some great behind the scenes shots, and um, the other day he posted this shot of a new alien and another one with a astromech. But uh, the other day he did post that uh, Warwick Davis is making an appearance as far as mm. probably being a character in costume. Yep. It's great to see where I work. He's such a lovely, lovely guy. He's done such yep. a great job for the fans at every celebration. Um, why not? I mean, good God, just keep the guy in the movies. He's like, and he's, I actually watched Rogue One again the other night and it's, I finally really noticed his little character. I can't remember the yeah. name of his character, but uh, yeah, hopefully we'll def- figure that too. We def- there you go. And I think that was us. Yeah. Um, not a whole lot of, as far as reviews and stuff, I've been working on the Gree uh, uh, toy guide update here. I shot a bunch of pictures yesterday and uh, some comparison shots with some other clones they've done. Um, so that'll be posted soon. Um, recent acquisitions. Uh, I did buy all of the new Forces of Destiny figures which uh, started hitting retail this week. Um, I'd be interested to see the size of that R2 with some of the six inch figures, because it looks like it could be kind of cool. It's a little bit big. It's a little bit too big. But uh, overall, the figures are really pretty good. Um, I I haven't opened all of them yet, one or two of them. Um, I did open the... The first one I got was the Leia with the Wicket because I wanted to get some cool shots and show Wicket because he's flocked. Um, yeah. I posted those on Twitter. Um, but yeah, I got that recently. Um, picked up the Thrawn uh, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive set. That's That seemed to be the most desirable of the mm-hmm. of the ones because of the exclusive accessories. 
And that packaging, beautiful. Yeah, the packaging is fantastic. It's one of the best cool. ones they've ever done. I agree. Lots of detail, lots of time went into designing that that cool box. This it's, it's absolutely huge. I'm going to struggle to display that thing. <laughs> yeah, the varnish coat it has on it to you know kind of differentiate the. Let's yeah. Grab it here. And the Rex head is uh, quite a. Oh yeah, of course it's got this sleeve. Forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, it's got this cool blue sleeve that kind of keeps everything together. See if I can get it on here without damaging it. So it goes like this. So you have this cool oh, overlay nice. on Light. here, which is actually the same. This pattern here is on the bottom of his Star Destroyer in the Rebels cartoon, which you can kind of see when, when you take this off. That's the bottom of his Star Destroyer, and you can see that it's nice paint painted on there, stenciled on there. It's cool. It's got this varnish coat on here, so it's very glossy in, in that section. It's got the blue accents, kind of fitting, obviously, because of his blue skin. It's got Thrawn there, and again, in that glossy mm -hmm. varnish coat. Mm -hmm. um, then it opens up. Got his different artifacts from his, uh, from his office. Yes. The Gree helmet, which is completely different than the Gree helmet that is actually mm -hmm. on the Gree figure. Um, I have that at home because I was doing some photo comparisons between that and yep. the figure. Um, it's got the uh, Kanan, or the, it's not really the Kanan helmet, but it fits on Kanan. The Jedi Temple Guard, yep. yep. That's a good Temple point. Guard. Nice. Cool nice lightsaber. It's got the uh, cup. cup from Indiana Jones, which was kind of an <laughs> Easter egg in the cartoon. And then the East Lamiri statue. Yep. They look epic. I like them. Very cool. Lots of, and even like when you, it's got also the uh, Calicori thing. This is the family heirloom for Hera. Hera? Yep, yep, that's right. What's cool is if you remove these items and there's these little trays that slide out behind the black insert, the box is printed with this pattern as well. So it's oh, not nice. just plain, you know, plain box coloration behind it. It's actually, it, it actually has the printed pattern from the walls behind that as well. So they really went above and beyond with the packaging design for this. So yeah, it's one of the yeah, best it's... I've seen them do. Yep. It's got this, like this cool, again, this yeah, cool, that's nice. Well, that's yeah. Acetate I... or plastic sleeve. Yeah, I opened my uh, Jabba the other night. I actually just got rid of the cardboard. It was just too big a box, the, the San Diego Comic-Con, and I just kind of ripped it out. And um, I thought it was good then, but it's nothing compared to uh, yep. to that. That looks pretty good. Yep. So. That was my main acquisitions lately, kind of just holding my breath as we approach uh, Force Friday. So yep. other yep. than that, how about you? Not a lot. Uh, mostly Marvel Legends again. My sixth introduction grows. A um, few extra 40th anniversary here and there. Helping a few people as well. A lot of people still struggling, trying to find stuff. Nobody can find hands and R2s, all the same stuff. Um, so no, nothing else. Uh, lots of pre-orders for stuff, uh, mostly Marvel. And uh, um, like you, I've got the, the throne coming as well and the, the land speeder just waiting for a little bit uh, closer date for me. I couldn't get it from the corner. I'm not going to pay the money for the coin. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, what's that? Nothing really. Kind of quiet. But of course, it's all going to change in four weeks, right. five weeks. <laughs> exactly. So yeah. So until then, um, let's see. We we'll, we'll, may do one more show before Force Ready. We'll have to kind of see how the news rolls out and see what else leaks. If you know, if there's new this mm. worthy stuff, we'll do another show and talk about it. But until then, we'll probably um, we may hang back and kind of do a recap after the whole Force Friday goes down. So. Um, like I said, with that, everyone, thanks for watching, and we'll see you our next time. See ya.